everyone welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is emma today's video is going to be my fall favorites i'm going to be showing you guys some of my favorite products from skincare to makeup to body care to a few random favorites that i pulled together that i'm just excited to talk about and share with you all i live in boston so just enjoying the fall in new england in general is so great i love living in a four season area and just getting to experience fall here is always such a treat it's so beautiful here there's so many fall activities to do but getting into some of my favorites i have been loving korean skincare lately i really want to honestly revamp my entire skincare routine and just make it a hundred percent korean skincare products because I just want that glass skin, perfect, very bouncy, hydrated look for my skin, especially in the fall and winter when your skin gets dry, we're all losing our tans. I just need that glowy, dewy, very healthy complexion to feel sane, especially without makeup. So I've been loving using Korean skincare and implementing new products into my routine. I started using these new serums. I am obsessed with them. This one I use in the morning this is the peach and lily glass skin refining serum this was highly recommended whenever i would search you know top rated korean skincare products i always heard really great things about this it says that glass skin is your skin at its healthiest skin that appears smooth luminous and translucent from within it visibly brightens firms hydrates and calms and it's made with peach extract niacinamide which is definitely one of my favorite skincare ingredients it has wild yam peptides hyaluronic acid and i love this serum it lays so nicely with my other products my moisturizer underneath makeup i love this serum like i said it was like very top rated when talking about serums that would give the look of that glass skin i'm obsessed with this product like i said i use this in the morning whether i'm going to wear makeup or not this is the serum i've been using at night this is the mixoon bean essence serum and i can't really tell you anything about this like anything that it would say on the back because it's all in korean and i really love this i apply this at night again before my moisturizer and this makes my skin so bouncy and hydrated it is a little bit like sticky and slimy so not a really great texture but i do love this serum i have definitely noticed a difference using this and again this was a very top rated korean skincare product and just overall a really good brand mix soon i actually have a moisturizer from them that i'll show you guys next but this in combination with the bean moisturizer has been such a good combo i'm obsessed i will We'll apply these products at night like i said this is the mixoon bean cream as you can see i've been obsessed with this moisturizer you can of course apply this during the daytime as well but i've been sticking to using it at night just because it's a little bit of a thicker consistency it just feels so nourishing and hydrating when i apply it at night so that's when i've been using it i use a different moisturizer during the day that's a little bit more thin feeling for underneath makeup but I love this moisturizer. It is absolutely incredible. I really want to try some other products from this brand because I've really been enjoying it. But again, very top rated product, top rated brand when it comes to Korean skincare. And I've really been enjoying it so far. This is definitely not a Korean skincare product, but one of my favorites nonetheless. This is the Road Glazing Milk. I feel like I have raved about this product since it came out. This is such a nice product i don't even know how to really classify this it's not quite a serum but it's also not quite a moisturizer it's like almost kind of like an essence product i usually will apply this over top actually of my moisturizer i really don't think the order matters here i feel like whether i apply this first or last it kind of gives the same effect overall but i do love this product for both morning and night this looks so stunning under makeup i've even seen videos of hailey hailey bieber who's the creator of road apply this with a brush she'll like put it in her hand take a little bit on a brush or a beauty blender and actually use it as a liquid highlighter which is kind of interesting but this makes your skin so incredibly glowy 
dewy, just beautiful, kind of, again, with that whole glass skin. I think Hailey Bieber definitely has glass skin. I'm super curious to what else she's using besides Rode. I do think Rode has really great skincare products. I do enjoy all of their products, and I have more to show you in this video that are more makeup related, but out of her skincare products, this one is definitely my favorite. I would say if you can only get one thing from Rode, I would really recommend the glazing milk. I'm not super picky about body care, not like I am with skincare and makeup. I get a lot of my body products from the drugstore. I actually did an entire in-depth video on like my hygiene shower routine. I can link that video down below for you guys if you missed it. I talked about all of my favorite in the shower products, out of the shower products, my favorite body care products, my routine. But I would say the one product that I am willing to splurge on is this Necessaire The Body Serum. This is such a good product. I love applying this in lieu of moisturizer, but also on top of my body moisturizer. The body moisturizer that I use is from Dr. Teal's. They make a really great lotion. They have other great body products as well, but I would say one that I am willing to splurge on, spend a little bit more, be a little bougie about is this body serum from Necessaire. Necessaire has great products. I tried a lot of them. The Necessaire body products are really good, but I would say the one product that stands out is the body serum. This is such a nice, lightweight serum for your body and like I said you can apply this instead of moisturizer or on top of your body moisturizer it's just such a beautiful product especially on your legs your decollete your arms like literally anywhere but I would say the one place I love to put this on is my legs especially right after I've shaved it is so pretty and even though you know we're covered up in the winter we're not showing a lot of leg or a lot of chest or really a lot of anything we're all bundled up in coats and scarves but your body still needs moisturization so i would highly recommend this body serum from necessaire it is so good i've repurchased it countless times it is like 50 dollars, so you know it's expensive for sure but it is 5.1 fluid ounces and again just such a beautiful product it makes your skin glow so i love this it doesn't have any like glitter or shimmeriness to it. It's just genuinely that good of a serum that it makes your body look like you're glowing. Even without a tan, even without shimmer or glitter, it's just such a pretty product. I love this stuff. I could make an entire dedicated video about my favorite lip products, but I narrowed it down to three, technically two because it's one brand and another brand, but I've been loving these lip products for fall and I wanted to highlight them in this video. So first are these two lip peptide treatments from Rode. She has so many colors of these at this point, but I would say my two favorites for fall are obviously the darker shades. We have a raspberry jelly, which is a really beautiful vibe vibrant raspberry color and then we have espresso which is a really pretty deep brown shade of course these are just lip glosses so they're not going to be the most pigmented thing you've ever seen in your life but if you do apply them with a lip liner layered or a lipstick and you do these glosses on top of that it'll be a really you know accurate shade to what's in the tube obviously you can do a sheer wash of these if you don't do the lip liner or lipstick and it's still really beautiful but I would say these two shades are definitely my favorite for fall. I love a deeper lip color, like a brown or a mauvey brown or like a red raspberry type of shade like this one. They're just so beautiful and they do provide a substantial amount of moisturization to your lips as well. It's not just about the color, it's actually about the quality of the lip gloss. So highly recommend all road lip peptide treatments, but specifically for fall, these two shades. This is my other favorite lip product for fall. This is the Clinique lip gloss in the shade Black Honey and this is actually what I'm wearing on my lips right now. I did pair this gloss with a lip liner just to shape my lips but the lip liner is not what is giving this color. It is this lip gloss. This is an insanely pigmented lip gloss. I'm actually quite surprised by it but it is such a beautiful deep cherry brownish red color. It's almost like a purple. It's really beautiful. I know so many people who are obsessed with this. I've been looking for this for so long actually and I could never find it. It was always sold out. Honestly, the more you layer it, the deeper it gets as well. You can definitely apply a more sheer wash of this, but I wanted this color to pop, so I did 
I don't know, like two layers of it or something. This is such a beautiful shade for fall. Like I am obsessed with it. So highly recommend. I also really love the quality of this lip gloss. Again, it's not sticky. It's very smooth, very hydrating feeling. I feel like there's been mixed opinions about these Dior powder blushes, but I actually really like mine. So I'm giving it a good review. This is not by any means the most pigmented blush I've ever used, but for how vibrant this color is, I don't really want like neon purple on my cheeks, you know what I mean? So this is the Dior Rosy Glow Blush in the shade Pink Lilac. I'm obsessed with the color of this. It is so beautiful and it basically just applies like a light lilac color. Like it's obviously not as neon as it is in the pan, which by the way, look how beautiful this pan is. It has the Dior logo stamped into it, but I really like this shade. I'm wearing it today and I did layer a cream blush below it as well, which I'll show you in a second, but I love this shade. I think it's so fun for fall just to try like a purple blush. Again, it's not the most pigmented thing in the world, but I don't need like a stripe of neon purple on my cheeks. So I really like this. I would recommend if you've been wanting to try these. They also have a really beautiful coral color, but I already have so many coral blushes that I was like, I can't justify spending $40 on this because I already own so many of the same color blush, but I didn't have any purple blush. So I really like this. I mean, take from the reviews what you will. It's definitely more on the sheer side, but I mean, you can build it up like, I think it's really pretty. More road products. I love their cream blushes, the pocket blushes. They're so pretty. I have two shades here. I have Freckle and I have Sleepy Girl. So first of all, these are such cute components, so easy to travel with. I also love that you don't necessarily need a brush to apply these. You can just sweep them on, blend them out with your fingers. I honestly think if you're blending it with your fingers, you get a little bit more of a natural application just because you're using the warmth of your fingers to, you know, spread it across your skin. So this is the shade Sleepy Girl. It's like a neutral mauve kind of shade. These are so pretty. They're definitely multifunctional. You can obviously use them as blushes as intended, but sometimes I'll even like sweep them across my eyelids if I'm doing a more natural, no makeup look. You can also definitely use these as a little lip stain as well. These are just super user-friendly and I love them. This one is the shade Freckle. It's a pretty similar shade to the one I just showed you but a little bit more on the pinky side. I love both of these. They're very pigmented, very easy to blend out, and again just very user-friendly. So highly recommend if you haven't checked these out yet. I feel like everyone was talking about them over the summer. I think they have six shades. It is cold and flu season, so I wanted to recommend my favorite hand sanitizers. A little bit of a boring topic, but honestly, if you have not tried these Touchland hand sanitizers, you are really missing out. They have a million flavors. You can get these on Amazon, at Sephora. I literally have so many of these. I have like two in my car, a couple in my different purses, one in my work bag. I just have one sitting around in my room. But if you haven't tried these, I would highly recommend. These are so incredibly easy to use and they all smell amazing. They're not sticky, they're not goopy. They all smell really good. So I highly recommend. I wanted to mention my little Trader Joe's candle. I love when they bring their fall candles back in stock. I don't know if it's just my Trader Joe's, but I feel like they don't typically have candles during the rest of the year. I feel like they only bring them out for fall and winter. I love their vanilla pumpkin candle. And despite it being kind of a small little candle, this burns for hours. I don't know exactly how many hours, but this candle is strong. It definitely lasts for a while. It's a really nice, honestly subtle pumpkin smell. I honestly smell more vanilla than I do pumpkin. So if you're not like a pumpkin fiend. I don't think this candle would offend you too much, but it's just a really nice light, just like cozy fall scent. And I'm obsessed with their candles when they do have them. I have one fashion favorite to show you guys, mostly because I have been wanting these Birkenstock Boston clogs for seriously the past two years. I also have probably the most popular foot size. I'm a seven or seven and a half, depending on the shoe but I feel like I look for these, not even necessarily in the specific color, the taupe color, but just generally, I've been looking for them for the past two years and they are always sold out no matter where I look 
on the Birkenstock website, other websites, like they're just always sold out. So I was able to get them this year, but I thought I had this year. I was like, I need those Boston clogs because I love the Birkenstock brand and I've just always wanted these clogs. I honestly think they're like so ugly that they're cute, if that makes sense. Like they literally look like a little pilgrim shoe. Like they're not an attractive shoe, but these are so comfortable. I think they're so cute with jeans, leggings, sweatpants, just wearing them around the house. Like I literally think these shoes are everything. They're so cute to me for fall, but I do recognize that they're like ugly. I feel like the whole Birkenstock brand kind of has that vibe. They're like so ugly that they're cute. But anyway, I was able to get the taupe Birkenstock Boston clogs and I'm obsessed with these. These are just the normal like suede ones and and I really like them. I typically wear them with socks. I don't think I've ever actually worn them out of the house without socks. And they definitely are a casual shoe. I'm literally like putting it back on my foot as we speak because I love them. They were just so hard to find the past couple of years. So I was super excited that I got them this year and I highly recommend if you, I don't even know if they're in stock. Like I don't even know if I'll be able to link them down below, but I will try. They've come out with so many different ones. They have like fur lined ones now, kind of like a little almost Ugg inspired slipper. So I'd kind of be interested in maybe ordering one of the fur lined pairs, maybe as like my house shoe but i love those i'm so happy i was able to get my hands on them this year so that concludes my list of fall favorites i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more hope you guys are having a good fall season so far hopefully you're able to get out and enjoy the weather and the leaves and do a bunch of the fall activities halloween activities i literally am so excited that it's fall I am not super thrilled that it's starting to get dark around 5 p.m., but you know what? That just comes with the territory, so I'll be all right. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. I want to do a lot of fall content this year, so let me know if you have any requests in the comments, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.